Beaconites. How are you all? I hope you are fine and doing well. Let's begin today's class by reviewing some of the letters that we have previously learned. S A T E P K M K E That's wonderful. You all know all these letters. Give me a high five. Keep it up. Hi Aunt Hannah. Hi Sarah. Why are you wearing a hat? Hmm. My little learners, can you help me? Can you all guess why I'm wearing a hat? That's right. You all are so smart. Today we will be learning about the sound, action, vocabulary, and formation of letter so let's learn the action and sound first. Hold your hand up to your mouth and pant as if you are out of breath and say <sighs> Amazing! You all are doing it so well! So children, now it's time for today's story. Listen carefully for all the words that have sound. So, today's story is about Hera and Harris, who lived on the top of a green hill in their beautiful house. Their parents were farmers, and dad had also given different responsibilities to Hera and Harris to help him on the farm. Hera's duty was to feed the hens, and Harris had to put out hay for the horses every day. But Harris was very lazy and always had excuses for not doing his task. Some days he would say, Go and feed the hen yourself. I am flying my helicopter right now. On other days he would say, Get up. Please go outside and put the hay for the horses. I am playing my harp right now. One day, Hera was really tired and she asked Harris, Please, please, Harris, help me put out hay for the horses. The hay stack is so huge. I can't do it by myself. But as usual, Harris refused and went to play out hockey with his friends instead. The poor Hera had to do all the work alone and while she was reaching for the hay on the top, she accidentally poked a beehive. The honeybees felt threatened and attacked Hera. She stumbled and hit her head on a log. Harris felt terrible to see his sister get hurt so badly. He got her a beautiful hat and said sorry for not helping her out. To make it up to Hera, the next morning Harris made yummy pancakes and served them hot with loads of honey, just the way Hera liked it. They both sat together and enjoyed the pancakes. And from that day forward, they always helped each other with every housework. So children, what have you all learned from the story? Wonderful! That's absolutely correct. We should always help each other and never say no when someone is in need of our help. Now let's have a quick look at all the words that we have learned with the help of the story house hill hen helicopter harp honey hay horse honeybee hat hockey hit Hive 
head. So are you all ready for the question and answer round? Let's fire away with the first question. So children, let's have a look at the first picture. Can you spot all the words hidden in the picture? Wonderful! That's right! Helicopter Hey Hen Now what about this scene? Can you find out what are the words hidden here? Wonderful! Hat Honey Harp Hill Well done! Now let's have a look at this one. Can you find out all the words in this picture? Bravo! Keep it up! Honeybee Hive Hockey Horse It's time for reading. I just love reading new words. Do you also enjoy reading? Come on, let's try reading some words together then. <gasps> At Hat Let's read it one more time. <gasps> At Hat <gasps> eh. mm. Hen Let's read one more time. Hmm. <gasps> eh. Fantastic children. A hip. Let's do it again. A hip. Bravo, students. You did an amazing job. A hit. Let's read it again. A hit. I am so impressed. You all read so well. Good job, everyone. Now it's time to learn the formation of H. So let's practice together. Go down, move back up on the same line, turn, go down again, and make a flick. I had so much fun today learning new words with Hiran Harris. I hope you all enjoyed too. Happy learning everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.